Hey everyone, it's Alex from Rad Sion and we're here today at Summer Wonder Fest in Japan and we are here with the uh, Toka vs Tsukiyama Tokyo Gold 2 statue by Figurama Collectors. We're going to go through, we're going to show you some close-ups and let you know what we think. So keep watching guys and girls. Thank you. All right, so here we are. What we're going to do then is we're going to get the close-ups. I just want to go through why I have them in front of me. So the actual measurements of this are height 54 centimeters, which is 21.25 inches. Width 50 centimeters, which is 19.7 inches. And then the depth is 32 centimeters, which is 12.6 inches. So yeah, so I was going a bit weird there while I was uh, reading that off. So I just want to do that while I uh, what I remembered. So basically, yeah, here's the piece here. If you just ignore um, this black kind of thing here, this is just to support it while uh, the prototype uh, is shown because it hasn't been engineered yet. So, you know, we need to uh, do that to support that and just to hold that up. But once you get it in hand, that won't be there and there won't be any, any issues with that. So let's get in close and uh, look at this piece. So if you want to pause it, there's all the details for the piece, so you have the character, the anime, the scale, and then there's the sizes, which I just read out. Um, part of the Elite Fandom line. Uh, concept art by Daniel uh, Kamaranin. Uh, 3D artist by Kito Akita. And then uh, painted by 3 Eye Studios. Creative director of the figure of a collector's development team. Yeah, you can read the rest. Thank you. All right, what we do then is if we start down low, so what you have here, is uh, this is the iconic uh, love letter in a rose which from uh, the anime so what happened last time was in the winter wonder fest you actually had a teaser where they had the rose and the love letter and no one really picked up on the fact that that teaser was there and it was kind of a bit quite subtle so uh, that was a good little uh, good little thing to have do what do just come around see this so you got the thorns of the rose continuing around the base and continue with the letter really cool really well done and as with all figurama statues there are loads and loads of like easter eggs all over this piece so what we do is uh, we'll focus on the characters and then we'll go on to the base afterwards just so we can try and keep some kind of system in place so here you go so we go up here very cool at the moment the um the character's eye lines don't meet but that will be um, corrected. So yeah, very, very cool. Loads of details going on. Um, so the suit, you have the tie coming out, the flow of the tie. And also, sorry, oh yeah, we got to that often. So yeah, and here you go here. I don't know how good the quality is of the videos, but you might be able to see glue on there. Uh, that's again, just because it's uh, not been engineered, so we needed to glue that down. So. The wings on this piece are huge, absolutely massive. They're kind of in line if uh, there's a six scale statue, but if you were kind of having a quarter scale statue, it kind of makes it that kind of size. And with the wings, um, they are actually quite lightweight for the size. I was really surprised when I picked them up. So they've been engineered very well in that respect. So you're not gonna have to worry about kind of sagging and uh, drooping and leaning over time, uh, which is very well thought out. The tips as well of this wing, are going to be adjusted so what you're going to get is you're actually going to get like a clear uh, edges to that to kind of match the crystals on the base so that'll be like that there's also two switch out alternate portraits and uh, you know you'll get that uh, with the busts that come with like the other piece then if you move around here you go you got all the uh, the Easter eggs on the base there so loads of things going on and what also is going to be attached on this is there's actually going to be um, a fitted LED light. If you see in the background, uh, you can see the cathedral uh, window. There's actually going to be a light shining through there so you can actually see the stained glass effect of it. So this piece isn't up for pre-order as of yet when this video has gone up. Um, the video, so the um, uh, pre-order and the price will be announced shortly and all the more information will be 
uh, shown on the Figure Arms Collector Group and also we'll post them on Rad Titan. So keep watching guys, uh, let us know what you think about the piece. If you like the piece, hit the uh, thumbs up. Um, if you don't like the piece, click the thumbs down and let us know what you don't like about it. So thanks for watching guys, take care. Let's finish off there. Bye bye.